grace and peace everybody welcome back to another video today we have a wash and go and i am trying a new hair method that i found from another youtuber which i'll leave her stuff down below if you are interested because her results are bomb okay so first i'm going to be rinsing out all of this gel from the slick back that i have i use a lot of gel so this process usually takes me a little minute so just give me some time and get it all out and then we'll continue had to go on dreaming So for products, we're gonna be using the Miguel Organics Rosemary Mint Collection. Oh, this is a strengthening shampoo and I absolutely love it. It smells so good and it has the mint in it so it leaves my scalp a little tingly, but I love it. And I'm focusing most of the shampoo, trying at least, focusing most of it at the root and then allowing the rest of it to kind of trickle down to the rest of the shaft of my hair. So and then I'm gonna be rinsing it out. Again, this shampoo really feels amazing in my scalp and it doesn't leave it super stripped or anything. It's very moisturized. So Miel Organics really gets it and they hit it on the nail when it comes to shampoo. So try it out if you haven't. So moving on to the next hair product, this is the Mio Organics Pomegranate line and this is their leave-in conditioner. So I went ahead and lathered that through the hair and now I'm going to start to detangle a little bit. I'm using this Cantu brush that I found while shopping in Target. You know how we do y'all, we pick up stuff as we shop. And I'm starting at the bottom and working my way up to the root to detangle and making sure I'm not pulling my hair out. So my goal with detangling is to make sure I can put the brush in my root and comb all the way down without any tangles or kinks or anything. I wanna make sure everything is nice and straight. And I really love to see how these products work in my hair because I am a super huge fanatic when it comes to using gel in my hair, especially for a wash and go. So I'm really surprised to see how these products are sitting in my hair so far and really making my curls pop, so. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how these results are going to come out because as I'm making this voiceover, I am waiting to see how my hair is going to turn out in the morning because, you know, you know, we really don't get the full results until we've slept on it and then we see it the next day, right? So that's what I got going on right now. So for the next product, I'm using the Twisting Souffle from the same uh, pomegranate line from Miel Organics. And this is literally the same wash and go routine the girl uses that I was referring to in the beginning. This is how she does it. And I'm going to tell y'all something real quick as we continue. You know how we say wash and go, wash and go, wash and go, right? What's so crazy is I have never sat in the shower and did my hair. Wash and goes for me were always wash it, condition it, all of that jazz, detangle it maybe, and then get out, get dressed, and then do my hair. Like I have never sat in the shower and did this. So this was so new for me. So this is like groundbreaking if, this, uh, if these results come out really good. Like this is just a game changing situation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. And all I'm doing is literally taking that souffle, mixing it in. She says to mix it in until it's kind of creamy because this product is very thick. So when you mix it in, make it a little creamy, then apply it and I see what she means because it was making my curls pop y'all. So trust the process. So now that I have all of the product in my hair, I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna shake my hair in the shower to really loosen those curls and then we're gonna go right in with blow drying. Now, obviously for something like this, I would probably prefer to let it air dry, but y'all, when I tell you even blow drying it took forever, so that part I really did not care for. Uh, Cause usually when I use my regular routine, it doesn't take this long to dry, but it did take quite a bit. So even if I air dried it, it would probably take all night and all day just because of how thick my hair is. But surprisingly using the blow dryer, um, I did use a little bit of the high heat and then I did go a little low, but here's what it looks like kind of damp. It's not completely dry. So I'll be back when it's fully dry. 
All right, so it is the next morning, and this is how I wrapped it in my bonnet. I just made it into three ponytails because that's how the girl wraps hers. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna just follow everything that she does. I usually wrap my hair like this anyway, but I don't ever put a middle part, and I'm honestly mad that I didn't do it like how I usually do it because you'll see a little bit later, but it, it's not that big of a deal. But anyway, so I, now I'm just fluffing out my hair and I am trying to, you know, get it to form right, get it to look right. I'm still trying to figure it out. Now I will be doing this for quite a minute. I'm going to give it a little shake and y'all, <laughs> here's the back. And you guys look at all the definition though. Like regardless of what, I'm not mad at it because I have so much definition to have no gel in my hair. Okay, so now we have put on a little bit of makeup and I'm still trying to figure it out, you guys. So here's pretty much the results. I have picked it out and I fluffed it out and I tried to get rid of that middle part, um, which you can see, still see a little bit. But you guys see how the front pieces are doing? The front pieces always fail me. I don't care what kind of routine I'm doing. My front pieces always are trifling, okay? They just are, I don't know why but whatever but you guys this is pretty much it my hair looks mad like orangey red I promise you I have not dyed my hair people ask me all the time do I dye my hair and no my natural hair color is just funny like it just does what it wants to do um but yeah these are the results you guys and I will say there is a bit of flaking um I guess just with as much product as you know I had used and everything so there is a little bit of flaking not necessarily in my hair but like I noticed as I was picking it I did see like some little white pieces um, just you know kind of on the surface of my desk and everything and in, in in the pick as well but I was looking at my hair up close and everything and I didn't really see it in my hair so that was a little weird I guess but like I said, I'm not mad at the results whatsoever. I mean, I'm here for it. I have the definition that I usually would like. Um, of course, they're not as coily as it would be if I had gel. But again, I'm not mad. Like, it, it, I'm getting the definition. I'm getting the volume that I usually would want after, you know, day three, day four hair. So I'm not mad. Let me know down below what you think about this routine. This is literally like two products that I used. So I'm gonna try this again probably on another day because if this is something that I can do for my wash and goes, this would be a game changer because usually you guys already know with my wash and go routine, I use maybe three, four products and I have to use them in a way that doesn't like ruin it. So it's like, if I could just hop in the shower, style my hair real quick and walk out and dry it, I'm game, okay, I'm game. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Oh,